Um, hello, dear viewers of the Frankfurt Book Fair Special Edition um, Market Insights series. Today, we're going to talk about the Slovenian book market. Um, Slovenia, the future guest of honor at the Frankfurt Book Fair in 2023 and at the Bologna Book Fair in 2022. Um, is an interesting country, so to say, and perhaps you, you were wondering about our book market, our authors, our publishing um, spectrum, so to say. Uh, so here today with me are two speakers. Uh, on my right is Dr. Miha Kovac, a professor at the Department of uh, Library and Information Science and Book Studies at the University of Ljubljana. In publishing part of his career, he worked as editorial director in the two largest Slovene publishing houses, the ZS and Mladinska Kniga, and as an editorial director of the Slovene edition of National Geographic magazine. He also worked as a consultant to textbook publishers in a variety of Central and East European countries. In 1999, he started to lecture at the University of Ljubljana, the Department for Information and Publishing Studies and Library Science. His main research interests are publishing and reading statistics, uh, diversity in European book production, bestsellers in Europe, and differences between print and screen reading. In last eight years, he was in charge of research and development group at Mladinska Knjiga Publishing House that is developing digital learning tools for primary and secondary education in Slovenia. Between 2015 and 2019, he was the dissemination officer of Cost eRead Network. He's the author of more than 50 articles and four books in Slovene, Croatian and English on book history, reading, and book publishing. Dr. Kovac, welcome. Hello. In front of me um, is Katja Stergar, uh, my co-worker at the Slovenian Book Agency. Uh, she is in charge of international cooperation and promotion of Slovenian literature abroad, uh, first at the Ministry for Culture and then for the past 10 years at the Slovenian Book Agency. Uh, since 2008, Katja organizes Slovenian stands and program at the International Book Fairs and is in charge of the project Slovenia Guest of Honor at the Bologna Book Fair 2022. Since 2009, she's a representative of Slovenia in the international network Traduki. She's also active in the field of children's and young adults literature as a reviewer, uh, through the Golden Pear Awards project for best Slovenians um, children's and young adults literature and as a Slovenian coordinator of Every Story Matters, Making Books More Inclusive project. Katja, welcome. Thank you. Uh, and myself, uh, my name is Anja Kovac. I work for the Slovenian Book Agency where I'm uh, in charge of the project Slovenia Guest of Honor at the Frankfurt Book Fair 2023. And uh, I'm also um, involved in the international cooperation with other projects. Um, so thank you, dear viewers, for being uh, here with us um, today. Perhaps we should start with uh, Miha Kovac, who is going to, um, let's say, say a little bit basic facts about Slovenian book market for start. Well, <coughs> Slovenia is a tiny little country with two million inhabitants, half of which don't read books. So Slovenian book market is about one million. But this one million of book readers and book buyers spends each year between 65 and 70 million euros for books. One, approximately one quarter of which are educational materials and textbooks. And let's say between 15 and, I don't know, 20% are actually book, books in English. Uh, between 15 and, I don't know, perhaps 20%. Uh, that's the difference between the number of English books sold in Slovenian bookstores and an estimation how many titles come to Slovenia via Amazon or Book Depository. 
Um, number of printed um, copies is around four and million and a half. And we, we, we published about around 3,500 uh, copies uh, f f per year. Our, of course, our, our National Library shows a little bit higher number, but uh, not every book with ISBN is a book published for market. But so our estimation is we do around 3,500 copies per year. Most of these books are printed, actually um, uh, many of them in hardcover and quite few of them in softcover. Uh, ebook market is small, it's, uh, we estimate it to a little bit more than 1% and it's highly related to library loans because we don't have any subscription ebook service in Slovenia, but we have libraries which offer uh, digital content in their platform, Biblos. And uh, audiobook is, again, practically non-existent uh, because there is no audio platform and Slovenian publishers actually haven't started to invest in the production of audio, what is quite logical because they don't have rights for the books they published for audio and uh, the, the, the production of audio is to an extent expensive, especially if you have to pay extra rights for, for it. And there is no a sustainable business model yet in the Slovenian market for this type of the books. Mm -hmm. Yet. Yet. Um, you mentioned and this yet might last quite a long time as a matter of fact. <laughs> Um, one of the causes might be also that the Slovenian book market is quite small, so not enough yeah. listeners of audiobooks, uh, plus the competition of English audiobooks, yeah. books in uh, English language is quite... Yes, we, we have around 5% of people who listen to audio and I assume this is, these are the subscribers predominantly to Amazon or they try to download some free content or they use some other providers like Kobo or, mm -hmm. or, or something else. But So th there is an interest, but the, the, for the time being, nobody is willing to invest uh, in Slovenian production of audio content and in the, in the Slovenian platform. Mm -hmm. Where do Slovenians buy printed books? Oh, this, this is something what, what has transformed heavily in the last uh, few decades. Um, uh, in the in, in 90s and in, in the last part of 80s, we were a nation which were buying books predominantly door to door. There were a lot of salesmen who were knocking on doors, invading people's homes and selling them books. And uh, in the 90s, this, this way of selling books disappeared and predominant channel for book sales become bookstores, supermarkets, petrol stations and online, which got a significant push with the uh, corona crisis. Uh, when most of the bookstores were closed and only a few mega stores and gas stations were operational, so th there was no access to the books, and most of the, and people started to to order heavily, heavily online, which grow enormously and is still, uh, my estimation is at least for sixty percent higher than it was before the Corona crisis. Even now, when we are in normal circumstances. Mm. One more thing which needs to be told about Slovenian book market is that Slovenians are a penny-wise nation, so they don't like to spend a lot of money on books, but they like to borrow books in libraries. So we have very, very uh, uh, well-developed uh, public library network. One could say that uh, even living in the sm smallest and remotest Slovenian uh, village means success to Ebook to, 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 to printed books at least once a week because uh, all public libraries have bibliobuses which commute around uh, uh, Slovenian uh, countryside. And the number of library loans 
Uh, we don't have exact number because library statistics are quite sophisticated thing and they don't uh, they, they count loans on very different uh, uh, ways but my estimation is that the number of library loans among adult population doubles the number number of books sold to adult population mm. I actually found an estimation for 2018 and in that year 4.25 million books were sold and 7 million books were loaned in libraries. Yeah, that's, that's an approximation, approximation because uh, we, uh, we did the survey on, on adult population which was defined a little bit different than the adult population is defined in, in, in public libraries. and. The problem with public libraries is that they count extensions of loans as a new loan, mm -hmm. uh, and then we have we had to to do an estimation and because when you you know you, you cannot compare an extension of library loan to the purchase of the book because nobody buys the book twice. Mm -hmm. uh, so we uh, this is an estimation, but yeah. So I, I would simply put I would say that the number of loans doubles, doubles. approximately doubles the number of sales. sales. Also, libraries are quite an important player because um, there is an estimation that they buy about 15% of all book production in Slovenia. Yeah. So they are very important also for publishing houses. Um, and perhaps at this point I can mention our average print runs um, per title. It's 826 copies. For fiction, for example, it's 500 copies and for poetry, 250 copies, so quite small numbers, mm -hmm. and if 50% out of these print runs is bought by libraries, that is also um, significant, so to say. Yes, well, uh, that's, that, that, that's how our, our, our book production is, and of course, in these numbers we have some big bestsellers, because we have successful authors who sell more than 10,000 copies of a given title. I'm very happy because in the last five years we got a lot of successful Slovenian writers, which make our book culture more robust than it would be if the sales would be reliable only on, on the, on the uh, translations. But yes, the average print print runs are, are very very small, and even the number of we don't have this estimation. But if we would be able to calculate the the average uh, sold print run, uh, the, the the numbers would be would be even much smaller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we can add here that uh, a bit. Uh, better numbers are in the um, part of young adults and uh, special children's mm -hmm. literature because approximately 1000 titles per year are published in that sector of Slovenian publishing. Uh, about 45% of that are original Slovenian titles, the rest of them are um, translations and maybe what is also worth mentioning is that only in 2000, in year 2000, this has uh, change so that there are more translation than original works, which is uh, quite a great uh, thing that we could handle to have that many yes. original titles for mm -hmm. so long. And print runs, in, especially in children's literature, are a bit higher. Mm -hmm. And thanks God for that, because it means that we still are trying to educate readers. Actually, uh, children's publishing could be with investments long enough could be a very sustainable job because when we look at, at, at the structure of the market we see that there are certain titles which are on the market for 25, 30, even 40 years and which sold yes. 100 copies, 100,000 copies to different generations of, mm -hmm. of book re uh, readers and with a few exceptions of authors like Astrid Lindgren or, or J.K. Rowling all these titles are written by Slovenian mm -hmm. authors who who are part of this culture and who are very uh, active in, in, in communicating with their, their uh, readers. Plus, uh, it should be mentioned that we have quite a brilliant culture of book illustrators and we have some brilliant old 19 years old ladies who do brilliant, splendid books still 
Mm-hmm. And what we makes call me them uh, four grand dames of Slovenian illustration. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And they are <laughs> Marlenka Stupica, Anjka Gužnik Godec, Marjanca Jemec Božić, and Tilka Reichman. And really, those books are still sold well and they are very active. And this is for me one of the greatest things that Slovenian publishers are still willing. Mm. to publish their books as because they are high quality. Well, it's it's not it, it, it's basically not a question of willing. It's 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 very very simple market cal- calculation. There is market for these books and yes, they yes. they do reprint them. But what makes me uh, also uh, happy is that we have the whole new generation of young illustrators who are uh, exploring new techniques and are doing high 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 quality books so slovenian book production for children is really pretty much alive and 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 kicking and it's also becoming quite successful in selling rights because mm-hmm. authors like lila prap could be found in more th- than 30, 30 languages and mm-hmm. i i am quite optimistic for for the pure future of this segment of the mm-hmm. market i i believe that uh, the sales, the export sales will continue to grow in this segment. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and children's literature also travels really well uh, all across the world. Perhaps, Katya, you could mention a few more authors and yeah. illustrators. Maybe we can tell, say that because our uh, children's literature is that strong, of course, with illustrator, that's why we have uh, decided to go for this title for Slovenia Guest of Honor in Bologna, as we really think that we have so much to show. Our uh, illustrators are unique and very artistic. Um, They are not, uh, of course you can find also those that are really commercial, but still they are very much in trend and um, we do believe that their ta- their books should be around the world. For instance, for one of example, you already mentioned Lila Prab, who is very successful. Also, also a younger author, Manica Musil. She has now books translated. She's author and illustrator. She's actually uh, sewing, sewing books. her books, <laughs> yeah, and making very interesting projects out of it. And um, she has more than uh, translations into more than 15 languages, which is also quite a significant. Then maybe worth mentioning is also Alinka Sotler, who is now working, last year is working more for foreign publishers than for Slovenian publishers. And um, then uh, there are perhaps Maya Kastelic with her silent book. Exactly, mm-hmm. Maya Kastelic with her book, boy, uh, A Boy and a House. And maybe for with the silent books also, Alenka Peklar and Marta Bartol, who both succeeded well and uh, their books are sold around the world already. And they do get mentioned in White Raven's catalog um, quite regularly, Slovenian authors, I mean. Yes, of course, and maybe we are just mentioning now mostly women illustrators. We do also have great men illustrators. For uh, example, Damian Stepančić or Peter Škerel, they are both amazing um, uh, illustrators doing lots and lots of books. And uh, Damian is also doing his comic books, which is maybe also an interesting uh, part that mm. is not that... Um, potent in Slovenian uh, book market. Um, from maybe if I continue with some more authors that are very, uh, that are really sold well at th- this time, it is Jana Bauer, who is, I think more than 20 languages already. She has her books translated in. Um, then um, Andre Rosman Rosa is a really interesting author, or Janja Widmer, for example. And at this time, Winko Möger and Dorfer is being translated a lot. Um, mm. There are lots of authors who are authors for children's or young adults' literature, and also authors for adults', adults. literature, which is for also an interesting fact in Slovenia that best authors for children are really good authors also for adults literature. Mm. Some of them. Not all of them, of <laughs> course. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, how about publishers in Slovenia? Um, how many uh, bigger or perhaps more important publishers uh, do we have? In, do we have genre publishers and so on? Well, this is one of the issues which we, we which we had, uh, which we are started to solve now because. Uh, if we would be doing this discussion 10 years ago, I would say there is no genres in Slovenian, in Slovenian uh, fiction. But now it is, we have quite good, uh, we have a few good crime novel authors who are also successful in the terms of sales, who are also having done TV series on the basis of, of, of uh, their books. We, we have some successful uh, um, authors who do interesting local biographies. We have some good uh, fiction authors who are writing their fiction in a way that it's more accepted for, for a broader market, but it's very difficult to put them in, in, in any kind of 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 of, 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 of a genre. Right. <laughs> what we what we fail to have, of course, is uh, but that's a very special segment of the market. There is no romance in Slovenian language. And very little fantasy. And very little fantasy, but uh, this might I I've seen some people who are doing their tries in this field. And uh, it might be similar as with 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 uh, crime fiction that at a certain point point a new generation of authors will arise and will be successful in this in this genre. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the, the reason why some Slovenian authors started to write crime fiction was that uh, they basically saw the success of uh, Nordic noir. They they got persuaded that you can write a crime fiction in to, even in, in a small national com community. I mean, if Iceland, if people in Iceland can do it, then what the heck? Then we can do it too. We are <laughs> four times bigger, bigger community. And another interesting thing is that uh, these people who write uh, uh, good genre fiction are by their, their background they 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 are not writers who become genre, genre authors. Before before their writing career, they were either journalists or working in marketing or perhaps doing some uh, books for children and then they somehow redefine themselves or, or, or having a career in law, mm -hmm. for example, and then they redefine themselves as, 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 a, as, a, as a crime, uh, crime fiction, fiction authors. We cannot talk about Slovenian noir yet because this segment is way too small and for being successful in the broader area, I, I, I believe that there needs to be a kind of regional connections. So I, 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 I hope sometime we will have a kind of a Balkan noir, just in fiction, not in real life. And, and in perhaps, real life, there is already some. Yeah, we, we, had some, <laughs> we had some Balkan noir and please don't, any, we don't need it anymore. Or perhaps Central European noir, uh, 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 Visegrad noir, urban noir, or whatever kind of noirs. Uh, <laughs> but this is an open area for for. Let's keep for the marketing. noir to literature and not to yeah, real life. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, okay, mm, we were at publishers. Um, perhaps we should mention that we have around uh, 45 bigger publishers covering not only fiction, but also educational mm -hmm. materials, um, historical materials, and so on. Mm, but altogether, there is an estimation that we have about um, a thousand publishers, but most of them being smaller or just uh, yeah. publishers that publish one title per year well, and so on. This is more or less statistical fiction about these 1,000 publishers because these are the organizations which are registered also for publishing. So you could have a company doing keywords who registered as a, as a publishing company because they publish a kind of mm. booklet every few months. And different if, institutes. Yeah, yeah. But if we look at, for example, at Ljubljana Book Fair, which gives quite a good 
picture of Slovenian publishing uh, landscape. Mm -hmm. There we have around between 80 and 90 uh, publishers and that's basically it. Mm -hmm. And among these 90 publishers are, are a few really big, big guys like Mladinska, Kniga and Tuchila. Uh, in trade and trocus in, 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 in educational and these free companies, they represent way more than 50% of the, of the entire market. And then there is a certain group of publishing houses who do more than 10 or 20 books, who, which are small but which are also very important for, for, for creating a vibrant book market because they do interesting niche products and they are very important in discovering new and interesting authors. Mm -hmm. um, last year at the Slovenian Book Agency we made um, a short overview of the Slovenian publishing landscape and readers. Uh, it is accessible in this booklet, which is also published online on our website, www.jakrs.si. Uh, you will see the um, title also on the screen. Mm, and you can check out which are the most important players and um, about what numbers we are talking here in the, the Slovenian measure, so to say. Um, and what is important in the last years is that Slovenian literature started to travel more, so to say. Um, we, our authors are getting more and more translated. We have even a few bestsellers already abroad translated into several languages. Uh, one highlight is, for example, Drago Jančar, who um, received the Austrian uh, prize this year for, Central, for European literature. And perhaps then we have uh, Goran Vojnovic and um, our oldest uh, still living Slovenian author, Boris Pakor, who is, believe it or not, 107 years old. Um, and then we have quite a strong um, Slovenian representatives also um, among minority authors in Austria and in Italy. For example, two names in Austria are Maya Haderlap and Florian, Florian Lipus um, and Boris Pachor, whom I have mentioned before, is um, actually based in Trieste, so he's a representative of Slovenian minority in Italy. Um, so Slovenian mar book market might not be so small after all, <laughs> it extends outwards as well. Um, and there are quite a few Slovenian publishing houses lately who are selling, uh, actively selling rights abroad. Um, and they also are present every year at the Frankfurt Book Fair and other book fairs. This year we can invite you to the Slovenian virtual stand, which will be operating from uh, Wednesday to Friday, so three days during the digital Frankfurt Book Fair. Um, you can get access from our website and from the website uh, of the Frankfurt Book Fair. So you are most welcome to visit us and chat with us and our publishers live, actually, in real time. Um, so much for a little bit of commercial. <laughs> um, what could you say about uh, digitalization of the Slovenian bar market, since we are already speaking about digital book fair? Well, the, the segment of publishing which went really widely into the digital is educational. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three companies which are now the most important in Slovenian uh, educational market. And all three companies have very big, very well developed uh, uh, platforms. Uh, uh, one of them just won the Comenius Award, which is uh, an award given by a German association for Pedag pedagogy and informatics. That's the Mladinska Kniga uh, uh, website called Uchimse, uh, which is meant for use in, in primary education. Uh, Rokus Klet has a big uh, uh, platform and they won a lot of Belma awards, which are given at Frankfurt Book Fair, also Mladinska Kniga won one or two Belma awards. So this, these two companies are really very much in, 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 in digital and they actually 
let's say to an extent solved the education in Slovenia during the uh, lockdown because they offered all their contact freely to all, all users mm -hmm. and they were really widely used uh, and uh, I, I'd say that when I now look at this at the numbers of usage of digital uh, learning tools in after Corona time it's still much higher than at the same time last year so I'd say that in educational, uh, um, the, the lockdown gave a very strong push to the usage of digital learning tools. Of course, we, we are very much aware, uh, uh, the publishers and, and those who decide about educational policy, that paper is very important, that kids should also use paper. So we try to, our uh, Slovenian publishers try to find, figure out the right balance between mm -hmm digital and paper learning tools. In trade, the digitization is much less present. Uh, of course, all Slovenian uh, publishers have their own uh, online stores. Uh, the biggest online bookstore is mk.com, which makes a turnover about, uh, I believe now it's way higher than 1 million and, and and a half euros in a yearly basis, but this is still just a few percent of 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 of, of all, all uh, book sales. Again, this uh, segment started to grow, but the problem which which I believe we have is that uh, I mean when when, when you uh, sell goods online, uh, you need to have a good analog delivery system. Uh, and we don't have, uh, we have a post system, but this post system is not very brilliant and there is no alternatives to, to it. So my guess is that uh, if somebody would want to go uh, to develop more, more, more sustainable and uh, with bigger market share, the, the only book sales one should develop the distribution system uh, in, in big cities first something like volt uh, in food we would need something similar in in, in book, book, book sales and as we mentioned before the audio and the the ebook segments are really tiny tiny audio is non-existent ebooks are, are are small they are actually growing every year, but still uh, uh, the, this growth has a certain, I would say, amount of limits, which are linked to the fact that they're part of the public library system, which by itself is not very interested to, to substitute online sales, uh, uh, to substitute physical uh, book loans with online loans. So here I believe that uh, Game Changer will be a company uh, which will offer a kind of subscription services for audio and ebook, but as market is very small, I don't see uh, uh, any such player entering the market right now. Uh, and the the uh, which means physical book market quite stable, mm. shrinking but stable, Sh or stably shrinking, <laughs> shrinkingly stable or whatever. <laughs> We already mentioned that because of Corona, people did go and buy books online and it also has pushed lots of publishers to develop better their bookstores online and mm -hmm. also some booksellers had quite good mm -hmm. bookshops online, which uh, th this was not that popular way of buying books. Uh, Slovenian Book Agency has also organized this uh, book fair on a couch when we... Um, have collected uh, ideas from uh, and gave a chance for different publishers to um, sell their all together. So uh, it gave, uh, if you went to the bookstore of one publisher, you were also um, then tempted, tempted to exactly <laughs> to visit somebody else. And uh, all of the publishers said that it gave them really good numbers, uh, this uh, book fair on a couch. Exactly. This was the first digital book fair in Slovenia. It took place on the World Book Day on 23rd of April. Um, and it was actually one of the actions that the Slovenian uh, book agency took in the COVID-19 times. 
Um, we had a big campaign after the bookstores were reopened in May this year. Um, and we can say that the Slovenian Book Agency is uh, one of the main supporting systems for Slovenian publishing because uh, we do support publishers, bookstores, events, festivals and so on. And we are also responsible for promoting Slovenian literature abroad. Uh, you can find us at most important uh, book fairs around Europe and sometimes even around the world. And I can mention also that we offer financial supports for translations of Slovenian authors into foreign languages. We have one such call uh, per year and we have also one special call for translations into German language, uh, which is meant to help um, book publishers in the German speaking area to prepare better for uh, our guest of honor year in Frankfurt in 2023. And we also support mobility of Slovenian authors uh, by covering their traveling expenses for literary tours, festival visits abroad and so on. Uh, you can find out more about uh, our supports at our website, which you will see written on the screen later on. Maybe we can also add that we have from this year on a new call for printing costs for translations into foreign languages, which is also quite an important support for those who decide to publish Slovenian books abroad. Exactly. Um, should we mention something more? Did we forget anything? Well, perhaps we should also say that, uh, I mean, uh, as already mentioned, but it's, I think this, this is really interesting phenomena. Uh, we find this post-corona time, at least in, in the bookstores, as, as, as a very successful time, as, as a time which is sales-wise better than uh, June, July, August and September were better months than, than than the same months last year when there was no crisis and there was no Corona and there was no uh, recession. So we are at this very moment, we are quite optimistic about uh, Slovenian book market and book business. And I hope that uh, this will last for at least a few more months. <laughs> Maybe people will read more uh, at this time, especially as winter is coming mm -hmm. and uh, Mm. That's, that's, that's a very famous sentence. Winter is coming, <laughs> as George R. R. Martin would say. <laughs> it, it looks like that we won't have Slovenian book uh, fair this year, not in the normal way of um, existence, though. So uh, people are, will be forced to go to bookstores and buy online to get their books uh, as usual. And it will be very interesting to see how will the, the book market develop in the future months, not only Corona-wise, but also in general. So I will say thank you to both of you for all the interesting information and to our listeners and viewers. Um, we'd be glad if you contacted us with future, with further questions. So go ahead and... Um, we hope to hear from you some more in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.